What is up, party people? It is Justin Langwa, Sterling Properties, coming at you with a, an addition to the video anthology. Today we're going to get Fidgetal. Reminds me of that 1981 hit, Physical, by, I think it was Olivia Newton-John. Who am I kidding? I know exactly who it is. Um, one of the concepts, or one of the, one of the trends that we've seen and we've heard about so much over the last five to seven years in the retail world is that just physical retail was dead. Brick and mortar stores were dying uh, at an alarming rate. And I'm here to tell you that it's not true, that there's actually uh, some lies and some misinformation that's been spread throughout the years. One of the most important things to, to think about right now or to, to understand is this concept that Amazon is expanding at a rapid pace. And it's not necessarily in the e-commerce world that uh, so many of us have been told and believe. Their physical store presence is expanding rapidly. Things like Amazon Books, Whole Foods, Amazon Grocery. And it's just a, it's another opportunity for them to create a, a touch point uh, to the end user, to the consumer. One of the things we are seeing is while folks like Amazon are beefing up their physical presence, we're seeing e-commerce uh, from these traditional retail brick and mortar stores. It has increased rapidly. A great example of that is Ikea. So about three years ago, Ikea brought on a former Google executive, a lady named Barbara Martin Coppola. And in three years time, she has literally taken their, their, their revenues of e-commerce, which were 7%, and they're now at 31%. One of the things that Coppola brings up in a recent article in the Harvard Business Review is she uses this analogy of an iceberg. So what you see on the surface is, you know, the, the, their websites, the experience that you have in the store, the fact that you can take pictures of your living room from different angles, upload those and, and plop down a couch, a chair, maybe it's a futon for your buddy Fred when he comes in to visit. And it's, you literally can close out the transaction on your telephone or you can walk into the store and, and talk to a human being, which I know is a foreign concept, uh, and, and complete that experience. So. The 90% of the iceberg that you don't see is all the work that they've done behind the scenes. It's probably her calling me now to thank me for this vlog. <laughs> uh, what you don't see is the 90% uh, below the surface. And that's things like the back end of their website, all the logistics, all the data points, the various people they've had to bring in. And then the changes that they're making in the store that allow you to literally go from a phone to a kiosk and check out, or maybe you just slide that phone back in your pocket and you roll out and you, you complete the transaction at your house. One of, the, one of the comments that she brings up or the quote she brings up is to realize a company's online mission, one needs to stay relevant and evolve with the ever-changing needs of the customer. So I can't think of a greater time than now um, to actually make these changes and Ikea is just one of, of many that we've seen. We've, we've definitely seen grocers evolve and adapt. Uh, they were doing this long before um, our, our recent crises that, we were, that we've been going through. So just keep that in mind. Retail is not dead. Brick and mortar is here. It's alive and well. It's just changing. Those that don't change are going to get crushed. And I'd like to thank uh, Marty Meyer, our CEO, for, for some of the nuggets for this vlog. Have a great day. Peace.